In this video, we will take a look at the Cervical Extensor Endurance Test. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. In another video, we covered the Neck Flexor Endurance Test, which is a common test used in neck pain patients, as there is an association of neck pain and limited deep neck flexor endurance. Similarly, insufficient deep neck extensors could contribute to neck complaints, which is why the Cervical Extensor Endurance Test, abbreviated as CET, aims to be able to identify weakness of both superficial and deep neck extensors. With the patient lying prone, the head and neck past the edge of the table and the cervical thoracic junction stabilized, ask the patient to sustain a chin tuck position in neutral for 20 seconds. A positive finding for weakness of the deep neck extensors is an increase in chin length or losing of the chin tuck indicating a dominance of the superficial neck extensors of the neck. Weakness of both deep and superficial neck extensors is indicated when the patient moves into neck flexion due to the inability to hold the head up. Sebastian et al. from 2015 report a change of 5 to 10 degrees from a maximal craniocervical flexion position to a relative craniocervical extension position for the deep cervical test and a flexion deflection of more than 10 degrees for the global test are considered a positive finding using an inclinometer. They state that while an inclinometer provides objective values, it may not be required in routine clinical practice as the direction of cranial movement can be visualized by a trained eye. Okay, make sure to also watch our video on the neck flexor endurance test by clicking on the thumbnail on the left. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. As always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you in another video. Bye.